Hello everybody, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're going to do a little bit more shooting and probably this is going to extend into several days of this 5110 with this muzzle brake on it and this rubber butt pad. So this was originally a 4590 and you've probably seen it in my earlier videos. There wasn't a whole lot of work to do to the action because the 1886 originally come in 5110. This one here was a 4590. All I had to do is uh, just work on the cartridge guide and also the lifter. So other than that, it's factory. So we're going to shoot it some with all manner of bullets. We're going to shoot some really wild stuff here. So we have some really wild cartridges or ammo loaded up. This one right here is a 50 BMG bullet loaded into this 5110 cartridge. This is a 650 grain bullet, and here is also a 650 grain bullet. This is a Barnes bullet loaded into here. We're going to shoot them into some books, and these are old books donated to the channel for this sole purpose. We're trying out that 1 in 20 twist. We want to see if it's going to stabilize these heavier bullets. Then these two are 700 grain bullets. One of them subsonic, and one of them is as fast as we can push it. So we're going to shoot it into some books just to test out this gun see what it'll do. Gonna try this 650 grain bullet and this one has a steel core in it. So we're gonna put that baby in there. Shoot it into those books and see what we can do. Hopefully we can catch it in there. Well, that was some recoil for sure. Well, looks like that bullet. Definitely turned sideways shortly after entering there, but it come in looks like straight on. Look at the size of that devastation coming through there. I mean, that is a hole. Wonder if we caught that bullet. Yep, cut it. Like in this book. Where'd it, where'd it catch it at? Just it bounced out of it. Didn't go all the way through. Where'd it go? Did it bounce back into this book? Nothing in there. All that? Hey. I think the bullet come out the end right here. That bullet, that bullet must have went in here and squeezed itself up this direction. Come out the end right here. That sorry little sucker got away from us. Always wanted to catch one of those. Okay, well we're gonna shoot a different bullet. We're gonna shoot the Barnes bullet. All right, here goes something. That barn's bullet come in there, blowing through that one, blowing through that one, but it's going forward, it's not tumbling or anything, and it stopped in this one. Let's see what she did. Oh, no, that thing hot as a firecracker. Did it definitely expand it out good? Ow, man, that thing's hot. So it only went through. That's for a 50 BMG. So it stopped in the fourth book. Shows you books are pretty, pretty bulletproof. 
Look at that thing. That thing is so hot, it's hard to touch. I'm going to look at it. All right, let's set up and shoot one of those 700 grain bullets, see what they do. This is going to be the subsonic load. Okay, subsonic load up first. Had a little bit of recoil even though it was subsonic. Bullet went in there. Went through that one, went through that one, went through the stopped in that one. <laughs> Didn't go as far as I thought it would. There you are. So we'll put it down there with the other one. I don't know that that's flying a lot flatter or straighter than out of that uh, slower twist barrel. Maybe because this is a newer barrel and hadn't had time to adjust. In other words, wear in. Well, let's try the super powerful load. 700 grain bullet. 1800 feet a second. This thing's going to have some recoil to it. We'll see how much this muzzle blast, muzzle brake helps it. Still had some recoil, but I think it was less than it normally is. Well, walking up on this, that is a bigger hole. That is a lot bigger hole. Look at that. And that is a bigger wound channel. Look at that. It's just nothing but confetti so it come through those three went through that one I think I think it definitely stopped in this one I think yep there she is wow that thing is hot Whew. hot hot potato hot potato hot yeah it pretty much pretty much destroyed itself that's all that's left of it it was a you can see by this one here, it was a lot longer bullet. But now let's try a 300 grain bullet doing as fast as it'll go. We're going to run this through the action. Pop it here in the tubular magazine. Put it up here and then blast away. That was like loud but it didn't have much recoil. Let's check it out. Is that a wound or what? Now look at that. <laughs> that is what you call a devastating wound. Look at that. I mean, you get you get 
basically four fingers in that. That is devastating. Look at the impact it has on this book here. I mean, it may not go through a lot of books, but that is devastating. Anything that hit is going to be dead. Let's see. I guess it stopped in this back here. Somewhere right in here. Ow, that thing is hot. Trying to get the paper off without peeling the lid off. It expanded out to over an inch. I guarantee you. That's probably gonna be about an inch and a inch and a quarter. That is a big old wound channel. I mean, just look at that. Look at that. I mean, look at that next to my hand. And if you knock the confetti out the back of it, you can see through there just fine. Now, if you notice, goes in small, comes out big, hits this and just really blows it up big and then comes out smaller because it's already lost a lot of its weight. But as you can see, that's, how, that's, that's the devastating. Here's where that 650 grain bullet hit the ground. And I found that bullet laying right over here. And so the problem with pointed bullets is even though they might start out going straight through something, they're so long they vary off real easy. And that's one reason I really like flat nose bullets because they do better straight line penetration. These things, if they get a little bit crooked, they just go wild. So here's our bullets, 300 grain bullet, your 700 grain bullet, that, your other 700 grain bullet, your 650 grain bullet, which is the first bullet we shot. But you can see it, it was going crazy because it hit butt first on that ground. And this is the 650 grain Barnes bullet. Looks pretty cool, don't it? So that's what we shot today. And uh, we're going to shoot some more probably before we publish this video. So it'll probably be several days involved.